Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, we're walking around on a uh, Saturday night here in old Saigon, Vietnam. So that's what we're gonna do. This would be the Ba San Bridge. This is the newly built bridge over in District 2, Tu Tim. And this is the Tu Tim area. This would be the Opera, which is the new kid on the block. It's about the most popular building right now. It's going for about 35 million for a two bedroom at 74 square meters. If you're interested in this apartment, it's on the Patreon. There are some people living here, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of Airbnb as well. That's all covered on the video on the Patron. And then of course you got the Galleria. This whole thing's called the Metropole. Right, let's keep going here. Oh, it's just the homeless kid. It's a little, little shit stir. He's always going between here and the bridge. He's always looking to steal shit. Yep, that's him. Uh, I went to the gym. I did a full body workout and wow, so let me tell you, I feel like I got a full body workout, you know what I'm saying? Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Look at these vehicles just powering up this hill. This is a pretty good hill. If you're on a bike, it's a, oh shit. <laughs> Dubs in the chat, thank you brother. So it looks like it's a gradual incline, but I'm telling you, it's uh, on a bike, this would be tough. I want to get a bicycle. I'm deeply debating it. Deeply, deeply debating it. Dubs in the chat, thank you. But I don't really want to get hit on a bicycle again. I don't know, I don't know why the government moved whatever they're building over here, but, you know, instead of it being, I think it was America, it's like Vietnam's got talent, is I think what that stage is for. And this is the big problem on uh, this side of the opera, because you see this st stupid thing all night long. Get a bike. I mean, I have mo motorcycles and stuff. I like walking. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, right. Yep. That's a big... Real big setup they got going on down here, bud. It's gonna be a, a, a gigantic stage. One of the biggest, one of the best. And that, now they're chugging along in this mall again. I think they lost financing for, they had money problems on this mall for a month and now they're back full steam. It's looking pretty good. I, I just hope it becomes a mall and they don't F it up. You know, I talked about this in my Patreon video a little bit, but you know, the corruption thing's an issue. It, it, it can solve problems like in the short term, you know, with the T-Money and all that. 
but it hinders overall good good uh good success forward you know it impedes progress because people get too greedy is saigon my favorite city to live yeah I like Saigon, it's a good place to live. She treats me well. Over here, we've got Vinholm Golden River into Grand Masteries. And if you kind of take a look at Grand Masteries, it looks really lit up. That'd be the one closest to us with the lights going uh, landscape instead of vertical. You don't see more than 10 units rented out right now. So that's what happens when you ask too much for, for rent and stuff in a building. It's totally empty. So my guess is this is how these buildings are going to remain because of the price is so crazy what they're asking for. And you'll take a look of why you can tell when the prices are crazy because there's nothing rented on the top floors. So that means they're only negotiating deals on the bottom floors where somebody that's already bought that for an investment knows that they're not gonna get nearly as much because they're towards the lower. So that's why you see anything that is really kind of rented is towards the middle and bottom. And almost nothing on the upper is rented in any kind of way. That would be your reason. Because they're asking an incredible amount of money. Like I looked at some of the uppers and they asked 41 million for a two bedroom on like the second to top floor, just because it, it's a cool view. I mean, you're looking at the, the gosh darn, you know, second to top floor, the second top to the penthouses. So I guess the third to the top. You get all this in a view. So I mean, from over here to the bridge to all the way over here, you get that view. So you're not getting that in a lot of places. It's going to scuff across this bridge, I apologize. Let me see if I can fix that. It's gonna scuff across the bridge, just buckle down with me. It'll go as we go across. Anything I'm saying, it's on the YouTube video. I'm really doing the dialogue for the YouTube video. Do you sell merchandise? I don't know. I get so many little views on my uh, videos now. Uh, I would be nervous to set up a merchandise thing. I don't think anybody would buy any merchandise. <laughs> or not enough to cover it. We have to get popular again. And consistently put out YouTube videos as well as stream. Because streaming brings in new people. But YouTube videos keep the long term people. Like the people that have been around. So there has to be a balance. It's a balance. That's why we're shooting a YouTube video right now. Let's see here. And then uh, they say they got the funding to finish these other three buildings, but I don't know. I doubt it. We'll see what happens. My opinion is I doubt it. The mall is going to get finished, though. It's already done. They're, like, finishing the first five floors right now. So the mall they done already got done. They done already got done. Oh, yeah, right, live stream. So I, I figured out a lot of the reason why we had a big increase in live stream numbers was I show speed. Geographically, YouTube would set all the, the shit to where he was at. So on top of all the, the interest in the gumball, YouTube was geographically setting people's like locations every place I show speed went. 
And then there's residual left over in like the search filter thing. So we pretty much need ultra mega celebrities. New streams cutting in and out. And it cuts in and out over the bridge. You guys will figure it out. It'll come back. Nothing I can do about the bridge. The bridge has no internet because they probably built the cell towers. Uh, and the coverage probably dips out in the middle because they didn't account for a bridge to be made. Or anybody to live in the middle of the river. I almost guarantee you that's what it is. It probably becomes probably some kind of mesh network that gets repeated. And they probably didn't bother repeating the mesh network out there for the cheaper phone line, phone company, in my opinion. doesn't work right your connection's not stable your live stream has ended on YouTube what what does that even mean why would it end no nah. <laughs> just end it YouTube and it's Tremendous amount of streaming problems. It's f fabulous. Once the stream is fucked, it's fucked. It just has no ability to go from like fucked back in. It's a frustrating process. It's okay. It is what it is. You have to move on. Part of it's having a Super China phone too. Oh my god, I'm so sore. <laughs> my legs are tore up. Man, I haven't been this sore in a long time. You get more sore as you're older too, I swear to god. The graffiti is absolutely horrific as you can see. You know. to open up my phone it should have ended the other live stream if somebody in the stream can confirm for me and then opened up a new one I don't know it aired out and like ended it for me I had no choice it just popped up on my screen and, the live stream has ended not much I can do about that you gotta play through the fouls play through the technicalities Hopefully it closed the other one and it alerted people to the new one. What's up, boys? Ciao. There's your skateboard bros. What up, bro? They took apart some shit. I like it. Ingenuity. Good? Alright. It ended the other one, right? As long as it ended the other stream, we're good. We're 15 minutes through this. So far been a really good YouTube video. We're trying to get back to like YouTube. I'm starting to learn now that if I'm having a bad day, I can't go shoot YouTube videos or like uh, live stream. It affects the performance of everything too much. Like uh, I know if it was like a regular job, I could because you just plow through it. But it, there's too much like I, there's too much emotion in the streaming and filming the way you can tell if you're having a shitty day. It translates too much into the into the stream 
and into the uh, the video. Did you do the pet thing? No. Is it open tomorrow too? I didn't do anything today. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't feel like talking to anybody. Gerard wanted to get a drink, have a beer before I went out today, but I didn't even text him back. It's just a lot of days where I just don't feel like talking to anybody. Hard to explain. Like I was just mind blown that I walked across the street. He's like, what the fuck uh, just happened? And when I didn't look either way, he even got more perplexed. He was like, what is this? We'll go tomorrow if I can convince Winnie to go. We're still fighting about moving. She wants to move to save rent, but you know. We can talk about that now in this YouTube video. There's a lot of the apartments for rent uh, stuff is on the Patreon, but the current price of the, the, you can call it higher end, but it's not higher end. They call it higher end in Vietnam, but the price for normal Western apartments, like what we would call normal if they built like a new apartment in LA or Chicago, that segment is going up in value like 20% every three months right now in a watt because of the airbnb and what people are doing so on top of like the problem of somebody just investing in a unit to airbnb it people are then subleasing or leasing the unit right like a foreigner foreigners are mainly doing this uh which i don't know if i have too big of a problem with but whatever but a lot of foreigners are renting them just like they did in la when they can't afford it and then staying at like a boyfriend's place and renting it out half the month on Airbnb. So, you're starting to see that too, which you never saw before that much here. Now you're seeing that a lot, but that's what happens when you ask too much for rent and somebody wants to still have something, which is like what younger people do. Who's a noob? Right, 18 minutes through the stream should be good now yeah well i want to go to the pet thing tomorrow hopefully we'll have a, a good day today and we'll go to the pet thing tomorrow but yeah that's what so rent just keeps going up higher and higher in any kind of newer uh nicer apartment building in saigon only in non-desirable living areas like district 7 and maybe like district 2000 is it not really going up because, I mean, maybe a certain amount of people want to move there, but like it's not the, it's the location sucks. Oh, the noob, yeah. <clears throat> Why did I, I quit kick? We can talk about that too. We're just doing a walk and talk video on, on YouTube, so. S1000. S1000 that needs a tune. It's got an exhaust on it, but doesn't have a chip, a tune to match it. It's running a little rich. It needs to be leaned out to take uh, accordance with his big exhaust pipe. So I didn't quit Kick. I just chose not to use Kick as a platform anymore because. Kick handed out deals to a million people that never deserved one. They paid people an hourly wage that view, bot, and cheat. And uh, it's just not a platform I want to be a part of. It's as simple as that. I have nothing more and nothing else to say about it. Peace and love the Kick. If they come and offer me a contract for like five grand a month, I'll exclusively stream there. But other than that, it's okay. It doesn't have the greatest reputation in the world anymore either. It pretty much sullied their name uh, kind of permanently. And that's my opinions on kick.com. But I have no problem with any platform or streamer or, or anybody anywhere. We're here to have fun and create great content. Why is this incel wearing a mask?
looking weird wearing a mask. Making a turkey, I don't, yeah, that would cost too much. The turkey's like 120 bucks here. I don't really celebrate any holidays with the Vietnamese ones. Whatever my wife's family celebrates is all we celebrate. If, if you want to be honest yeah. with you. You don't know. Beat it. We're in Saigon, Vietnam, in the red light area of the city. We had 50 people already, but the stream crashed because uh, I don't get service over the bridge. So I had to restart, so we lost them all. And now, life is over. Leloy? Who's Leloy? You're acting like I remember shit. Are we talking uh, the street off Winway? We can go film that. I may troll you once in a while, chubby and cheap. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate everybody. The reason why we got rid of the moderators for the short term is because uh, I'm yelling at people and there's no need to yell at people that are helping me, so. The only moderator I can yell at right now is myself. Once I'm done being a dick, we'll put Bob back on and a couple people. But for now, it's fine the way it is. I don't need to be yelling at people who don't deserve it. Oh, they got Andrew Joe right there. All right, we're good. we're gonna head the win way now, anyways. I'm just showing you what a pharmacy is. So, if you're on the YouTube channel, all this stuff you can buy without a prescription. So, we're looking at testosterone down there, androgel, which you would need a prescription for. All your blood pressure stuff here, you can get anything that you would possibly need. You can get Ezogram, which is a uh, heartburn stuff. So, yeah. But you can pretty much get anything but pain, uh, pain pills. Allopunerol? Yeah. Allopunerol? Absolutely not. Doing right. You got the generic one, like the cheap box? I have two of this. This one's good. To uh, Apple Pay, please. Twenty-three thousand. Do right. You have membership. Come, come so. Okay, it's ready. You can just tap it to the top of the phone. So twenty-three thousand for Alpunerol, which is gout medicine, which is for twenty tablets, just cost me about a dollar. So. Let me know if you're on gout medicine in the comments and how much you pay for your alpunerol in America. Up the top? There's something on your phone. Not work, sir. I'm gonna try again. There you go. Okay, come on. Thank, Thank you. you. So a dollar for a box of meds. I don't think you're getting a box of meds for a dollar. Oh. How about scoplamine for seasick? I don't know if they have that. I've never checked. We would have to check something like that. I don't have any idea. I'm chubby, cheap, and thinning. Stocking meds. All good fats, we have good days and bad days. Yeah, I just don't need to have be yelling at moderators. So right now we'll we'll go without for a while until I'm not yelling at people all the time. Tell him. Cal Quay Calm. Good? Quay Calm? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They love me. <laughs> I told you they rotated the old girls out. Now a bunch of new ones are back, but with the one chick that really likes me. 
There's a bunch of hotties over here, man. A lot of them. They're all over the place. No cool. So if you don't film the girls, like I talked about in the uh, filming of the Japan Town video, oh, let's get a let's get a strong zero. I'm gonna show you a thing. I'm gonna do a specific video on this for the YouTube Shorts because I really want this uh, product to pop here because I I don't like beer as much as people think I do. I'd much rather, if I am gonna consume an alcoholic bevy, have uh, have uh, one of these strong zeros. They're zero sugar, they're only four and a half percent. They're good. Might see you around the street, Chris. Stuart, cool man, just say what's up, my guy. Just say who you are when you come up to me. Just be like, hey, it's Stuart, and then fist pound, and we Gucci. So I'll put Bob back on moderation probably just Bob and then maybe the May guy did a really good job but I, like I said I just don't want to yell at people <laughs> and I'm frustrated lately so I take it out on people around me like a little kid Man, these are all warm every one of these are fucking warm oh shit shit okay. alright we got a cold one Transmission weak. Transmission weak. I'm always in bad transmission there. Ciao, Em. I can do it off this phone. Come so. Uh, Apple Pay. Come on in. Okay. So we got a, uh, I'm gonna do a, like a separate video for this on the YouTube, but I'll talk about it real quick. I always forget I have a microphone when I have a microphone on. So this is not a traditional Strong Zero like from Japan. This is a, uh, it, I mean it's from Japan, Suntory, but it's only 4.8%. It's not as tart. Although the lemon one tastes almost identical, just not as alcoholic. So easier to drink, lower calorie, zero sugar like the rest of the lineup. And even this like uh, peach one, this is like vodka soda peach. This one's pretty good even. This does have a large, like a, a pretty good taste of artificial flavoring to it though. But the lemon one's fire. I'll stick by the, the lemon one all day long. All right, let's keep rolling here. Oh, my legs are on fire. A symphony. I gotta take a piss already. I always have to pee so soon. I think we should go for the pee at mini stop. All right, I'll come back to the YouTube video. So I'll be right back, YouTube video. We're at 28 minute mark. Let me pee and then we'll go. All right, we are back after a, a quick pee and a top up with some vodka, a vodka soda. Now we're rolling. So, this place is new. This is a Korean restaurant that it took a year to build almost. They're often giving away free food and doing free dances in the front. They've got some pretty hot chicks working here too. I don't know how well this will do. It's like literally a 10 floor restaurant. I've never really seen that many floors for a restaurant. So we kind of just, we keep it that way. Oh, he's getting grabby. He grabbed some ass. That man got some booty. Let's hold the camera over here. I need to take advantage of all those girls being nice to me because I don't film them. I need to go in there and get a massage. 
I don't know if they even know how to do a massage though. Those girls don't know how to give a massage, I bet, right? The Aoyai girls, I think, only know how to massage one thing, and that's the middle leg. Oh. Hey now. So we got a festival something going on over on. <laughs> so we're going over there. Turn me on my stereo. Oh, there's some other place closed the other day. Another one of these closed over here. A lot of these places are closing. This place never does well either. This corner has never been good. Now this ramen place seems to be doing all right. A lot of people in there eating. It'll be interesting to see. I'm trying to hold the gimbal steady. So we're gonna to try to film all the YouTube videos to where you can't see the live stream and it doesn't, you know, take up the camera. I think it's pretty lame, like when a streamer just takes his streams and makes that like his YouTube content and tries to double dip into the content. Like I'm streaming now because this video is gonna take an hour and then we're gonna stream three to four hours after. So it's, it's okay to like, yeah, ciao, how are you? This is the best place here. Yeah. Yeah. We're here all the time now. So come to Udiji. It's really good. Okay, come on. Yeah, Dambi. Come eat there. They treat me really well. Really, really yummy restaurant. It's the cheapest izikaya uh, in the area. Sapporo's are 39,000 for a draft and they are delicious. And the lady that runs it, she knows repeat business, so she's a smart lady. I hope she does very well. We've eaten there like, I don't even know. I've eaten there three or four times now. It's like my secondary Izikaya to Tori show. Look how busy it is down here tonight. Japanese people talking behind me. Look at all the people going in, coming and going. We got a lot coming and going just in to Japan town. So a lot of girls going in, a lot of guys coming in. We, we don't need to walk through there tonight. We walked through there a couple weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. And Seven Bridges on the front side over here. Doing all right. This place, uh, I think I ate here the other day. It was okay. It was, it was smaller portions. The best potato salad uh, Izikaya 10 up here has. Like this Izikaya 10 is really nice as well. If you're looking to go for, hang out with a buddy that smokes and you don't want to smoke inside with him, or if you want to take a date, this Izikaya 10 is awesome. Like it's really nice, chow. Like uh, I usually sit right here where these guys are and it's really good. Super affordable too. For one person you can budget out for about, it cost me every time I drank here, I have, I usually hear two hours, I have four or five dishes, three or four beers, and comes out to about 12 to $15 USD every time. So about three to 400K Vietnamese dong. What's up DP? What's up Tal, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, Talga, Talaga. And we got Pasher over here. That's got all the live music going, Tell him. And we got Pasher with all the live music tonight. Pasture's been busy every night. The new direction that Pasture's been going in, I mean, they were always busy, but they're doing good. I like it. Super good bar. If you're looking for a friendly neighborhood bar in whatever district you're in, they're in D1, D3. They're over in uh, uh, Sala. They're all over. If you're looking for a good bar to go to, check out Pasture. Supposedly this loom bar is on the Michelin guy, but as you see, there's no one ever here, ever. So, I mean, I don't know how that operates. There's, there's no one there loom bar ever. Uh, transmission on stable. Why are we on stable? Tra oh, wait. and that's annoying. It's switching to H plus for no reason. It should be back. The transmission should be good. 
we're having difficulties when it drops out of uh, drops out of connection tonight. All right, down here. Furthermore, is uh, more of good old Japantown. We've covered that a bunch of times. We're gonna keep keep going forward to uh, good old Quinhue and check out whatever little festivals going on there. We're still good on battery, so but we can't get too detoured. I'm trying to shoot about an hour video today. It's more quiet over here. Yeah, it's way more quiet over here. We'll see how loud it is over in the... The live music's good, though. All these bars should be doing live music. There's the salmon tie. People really like the salmon tie. Here's the bar and spa, like a haircut bar. I don't know. Seems to be like maybe where fancy dudes go. I don't know if there's girls in there, but I would imagine. Man, my thighs. My thighs are blown out. It's good to go walk though. Walking off some of today's food. I had tuna salad today. I made some tuna salad with some some pickles. I don't use the celery for the crunch. I put uh, pickles, cor cornichons, and cornichons. Dice up about four of those. One can of tuna in light olive oil. And then a uh, quarter cup of mayonnaise. Kewpie. I use pretty much Kewpie now. I, I really still like, like, uh, American mayonnaise a little bit better, but Kewpie's so much cheaper here. Like, people, like, really love to use the Kewpie thing in, uh, America. Because it's, like, the egg-based one. I still like, uh, Heinz or whatever it is we have back home. It's a thousand years. Guy's crying about some guy in the comment on the live stream is crying about it the same video. You ever watch any 4K walking video, bro? Dude shoots the same stuff over and over. People don't care. They like to see what's happening at night. If you don't like it, you don't gotta watch it, bud. Simple as that. We're on good topics. We're covering what it's like on a Saturday night here in uh, October. I don't know what the problem is. Put one in the chat if you're enjoying the content right now. Let's just take a vote out of the 40 people. Press one in the chat if you like it and two in the chat if you hate it. A lot of people out here tonight. This is like Vietnamese Thai hot pot. It's, it's They call it Thai hot pot, the flavoring, but it's, I call it Vietnamese hot pot, personally. So yeah, right now I'm looking at my chat and I got about a million ones lit up, so, you know. I'm good at what I know I'm good at and I'm good at filming this area and talking about stuff, so. I'm just gonna try to stick to what I'm good at and not try to go too out of pocket. Vincom Center's coming up over here. The VF3, you'll notice, is gone from the Vincom Center, the Vincom VinFast. And the reason why it's gone, I checked, is they're sold out. They already sold out of the VF3 countrywide. I think they're like two, four months out now for orders on them. So they sold the showroom floor model. They literally sold the floor room show model here because they, they sold out of them. All, they're selling all the showroom floor models now. That VF3 is going to be the hottest car in Vietnam in two years. If it doesn't have some kind of crazy recall or big problem, it will dominate. There's two hotties over here. Let's go investigate for journalism purposes. Let's see here. Let's go across the street. Oh, they're running away. Don't go, girls. I came to film you specifically. <laughs> they ran too fast. Can't go in the mall. We can try going in the mall. The Sony phone that I'm gonna get is in here. 
Let's film it for the YouTube. <laughs> Actually, let me do the hot spot and let's see if it works. I've, I've got a new thing we can try. <coughs> Mobile hotspot. Turn that on. All right. Let's use Viatel's mo mobile. We're going to try something and see if it works, okay? So, wait a second, boys. CFL 1. Okay. All right, we're connected to the Wi-Fi now on the Viatel network, which usually does pretty good inside the mall. So let's go on in. Why was I in a bad mood yesterday? Because I have brain disorder, man. Some days are better than, than others. And yesterday, actually the whole last week, I was just having bad days. I shouldn't have streamed. It's okay. Today's a good day, so that's why we're out streaming and doing stuff. I apologize. I'm gonna try not to stream when I'm in a bad mood. It's just financially I need to. It's like skipping a day of work because you're in a bad mood. You can't skip a day of work because you're in a bad mood. I have to control my feelings more. It was just a bad day, but I had an overall bad week. We all have bad days, it's true. So hopefully the cell phone would fall apart right now on the stream if we were on the Vin Viatel or Vina phone. So now we're on Viatel. It's all good, man. I, anytime I have a bad day, I lash out at people and I cause more trouble for myself. It's stupid. But people with like ADHD do that shit. I don't know. Just part of me being a shitty human sometimes. So now, now Sony's making a big push for their phone here. I'll show you. We get to actually look at it this time. This is a phone I'm gonna buy, the next one. I don't know when we'll be able to get it. It's an expensive phone. It's out here for 32 million, but the one we're gonna get is an open box for like somewhere around 25 million. They come and go pretty fast, so. It was right here the other day. Like once I get my money more correct, we're gonna go to Japan three or four times a year. We're gonna make regular trips to Japan for the other channel and for the other things we're gonna be doing. So like Japan's gonna be, is gonna be a totally different thing. 30 million, I think 1300 USD, 1300. But like I said, we're gonna go to Japan a lot in the future, so it'll also work there with just a SIM card. I'll have to have a pocket modem. It's got bands all over. 1.2, yeah. But we're gonna buy an open box one. I don't need a brand new phone. The open boxes are going for 25, which an open box is, you can buy a phone from a cell company here for 30 days, and you have 30 days to return it. looks comfy ciao yeah like well like that stuff's been uh buying the japanese houses has been a thing for a long time that i'm maybe 10 years japan's housing market you're not allowed to oversell and rip people off they have like a whole monitoring on their real estate so you can affordably buy houses all over japan the further you get out of the cities all the major cities and go to the suburbs houses can get at one point, they were five hundred dollars to like two thousand dollars. Now they're eight to twenty thousand. There's a lot of viral YouTubers, TikTokers that that do it. There's specifically a Japanese American guy that does it, and one guy did a really good job with houses, like flipping houses and stuff, or just doing his house. I forget his name, but he just detailed doing all the carpentry on his house, and his was badass. Japan's good. If, if I had money, we'll try to buy, I would love to buy one of those houses in Japan. I'm not even joking. And then take the kids there and the family. Like having multiple properties like that where the taxes aren't high and they're easy to get into, like it used to be back in the day. I'm all about that, you know? I'm all about that. But I would love to buy 
My thing for me to create, like, I don't care about generational wealth, but like for my kids, I'd like to leave them stuff like houses, condos maybe at, at one point. So they can travel to different places in, in the world and stay and do things like, you know, make a house where the family goes and everybody meets up all the time at, you know, specific times and places. I like to still home base in Saigon, personally. Let's go this way. I don't know if I'll want to leave Saigon, but I would love to live in other places around the year, too. That's always been the plan, is to like live in other places around the year, other than just Vietnam. Our money just, we, we spent so much money on the wedding, which is fine, it was a great wedding. We're just paying for it now, and then it's, it, we're suffering, you know? It's no one's thing but our thing. So once we get out of our, our, our bit of debt, which, you know, in the next six months, we'll start to get a little bit of relief there, things will go way better. Oh, this chick's pretty hot. Man, did some moderator time that guy out for five minutes? That's crazy. I thought, I'm the only moderator. I don't know how that happened. Sorry, Jeff. They must have just nabbed you on five minutes on accident. Whoops. Our, our bad, bud. Man, make sure you come back with a, another shitty backhanded comment. We, we love those. We're all waiting for your negativity. Thanks, bud. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Six asses hanging out, bro. Oh my god. This, this fucking Vietnamese kid's looking at her too, like, oh my god. Okay, we're closed down. There's a festival somewhere around here. <coughs> yeah, it's a government building. Excuse me. It is a government building, yes. Excuse me. <coughs> executor of the trust yeah I mean if you set it up right and you don't have any disputes over this stuff and just split things evenly I think always stuff with families there's no I mean I, I like the way when you set it up clean and it just gets split between the kids whatever the immediate kids is just split everything equally first whoever dies that's married passes on to whoever's alive after that person passes, the, the wife or husband, then pass it on to the kids equally. And that's it. And in most situations, you should be forced to sell if there's not some kind of agreement to share, like ahead of time. Like if there's people talking about money and stuff, just sell. Jeff sounds bitter. I've started to kind of notice a pattern of the people that come and try to troll me. It's vindictive, like a vindictive type deal too. There's a mindset of vindictiveness for some form or reason or another. I'm just trying to have fun and make fun content and have a good time. I'm a sensitive person, very sensitive person. I have like classic diagnosis of like a real children hospital ADHD diagnosis. So I've already criticizing myself my entire life. So yeah. Oh, yeah sensitive person but like at the same time my whole life is a battle not to be sensitive so it is what it is I hear a festival I see some women we got some ladies ciao hello glitch is happening now let me turn off the oh, it should be better let me let's see what this network's on hold on Let's turn off the Wi-Fi and give it a shot. Why are you saying they're the most? Who's saying I'm the most? I've never heard that, man. Three dudes on the internet saying I'm the most hated YouTuber doesn't count, dude. And that make themselves look like they are and post anonymously everywhere with some clipped home videos. 
Doesn't count, my guy. I just gained 2,000 subscribers over a 30-day period. I don't think that's uh, a most hated YouTuber. I think that's people that are vindictive and hateful that are coming after you. I don't know what this is. District 1, oh, it's a midnight race. Oh, they got a midnight race going on, another one of these things. They got these midnight races going on 24-7. So not really a festival, but let's take a look down here and see what we got going. We're overheating a little bit. Courtesy of Gumball? I wouldn't say courtesy. You gotta earn your subs, man. We did a really good job by talking to people. Communicating with people that came onto the stream and entertaining people. That's the key, in my opinion. Oh, we're running right now. Let's go for a run, boys. If this is like a 10 kilometer run, we could do it right now in the clothes I'm wearing right now. With the bag I have on right now. I couldn't run the whole way, but we could do it. We could jog probably the whole thing. Nah, I don't know about with how sore I am, but we probably. A 10K we could do. 10, 10K and under. I don't know what this is. I think it's all for the run down here. Let's see what's going on. I see more festival stuff down here, so let's keep checking. Oh, she's got big ones. Big milkers. Wally, wally, wally. Oh, we got copyright music way back here. Nobody read your comment, dude. You just get timed out. Keep spinning your wheels, bud. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anybody that likes everything everybody does that they're with, man. If you're married, there's shit your wife does that you fucking hate every second. I'm not going to please everybody all the time, man. I don't know why people are so vindictive against me, but that seems to be the corresponding thing with these dudes is vindictiveness. Over something we don't even know what happened. It's usually because I, I don't want to physically hang out with someone. <laughs> because I don't hang out with people, really. All right, we're at the Shoppy Food Festival. Oh my God, oh my God. Let me start a new video. Thank you for watching this one. Watch the Shoppy one on the new vid.